Warning, this video is spooky. For the best experience, put on headphones and turn the volume way too loud. You have been warned and guided to the best experience. And just remember, it was all my fault. Greetings, game girls and game boys. I am Contemplate and this is Untold Stories, the video game that makes me think of Stranger Things, and we'll find out if there's a reason for that. However, I should let you know that currently this game is free on the... Great, I closed it. <laughs> it's free on... Uh... It's free on the Epic Game Store until the end of the month, I think. So, if you want a free game, go there and check it out. This is not sponsored. However, if someone wanted it to be, well, I wouldn't argue with that. Let's begin. All right, let's go to the uh, house abandon. The, the house of reckless abandon. Start. So I haven't, I, I, I played just enough to make sure it would record smoothly, and I think it will, but I started seeing things that I just was getting excited about. Oh, I didn't hear the music. I had it muted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Groovy. Oh, I love it. It is a bit deafening, though. Ah, check out those wave signs, guys. John McClan. AC battery portable cassette. In. Stories untold. Oh, yeah. Executive producer Owen Mark. Writer and director by John McClan. 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 Or something. All right, let's see what we have here. What? What's this? Oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot what excited me, but I saw this and I... This is so cool. The house. Abandoned. An interactive horror adventure. Uh-huh. This is good, right? It's right up my alley. Like, I found this in my... Oh, oh. oh I love it so much. I remember playing Zork, and that game was really tough. Like, keeping track of everything is super hard. You pull up to the driveway... Sorry. You pull up the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark. But it's but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look into the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Uh, uh, what do I do? No, let me enter. Wait. Wait. What do I do? Do I have to type it in? <laughs> oh, I didn't get this far. Oh, uh, let's see how picky the thing. Inside is a key and the and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. The note says, "Welcome to Zork." <laughs> okay. Uh, you open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the outside of the house. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you're enjoying your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get the power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy! It's a box of D&D &D first edition books, isn't it? Paff. The house is grand, set perfectly around the trees. In front of you, in the front doors, a yard, yard and stuff. Okay, uh... Two. Three. Back. Where would you like to go? Uh, north. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> uh... Generator... You guys will truly get to see how bad my spelling in, is in this. 
Uh, go left. Sorry, I don't understand. Go south. Sorry, I don't understand. Go, go, hang on. Go to back of house. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. N I, thanks. Uh, okay. Um, back, back door. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Son of a biscuit. Use key. You insert the key and turn the door lock. The door lock clicks open. Oh, this is so good. Look at the time, too. It's like, is it's it's 12.05, right? That's midnight, 22, 24, so no, it's like 11 p.m. Yeah, 11.05 p.m. Freaking military time. Okay. Boop. Enter. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Go in. House. You step inside the front door. You enter the house. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark, and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Back uh, uh, of house. I don't know what you're trying to use. I'm trying to use the back door, man. I don't know what you're trying to use. You're trying to use force to piss me off. Uh, go outside. You step outside the front door. The house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Side of house. Go to side of house. No! That's <laughs> not what I wanted. Ah! No, let me do this. Go, foe. Go outside. You step outside. Thank you. Shut the heck up, please. Thank you. You dead? You're dead. Good. Uh, uh, west. Sorry, I don't understand. Go west. Sorry, I don't understand. Go right. Walk right. Man's. Oh, are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Let's call someone. Hey, Grandma. Remind me how to play this game. How's no time pass? Time is standing still for me. Uh, get in car. You open the door and get back in the car. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I just suddenly drove. It's like a stutter in time. I just drove back into the driveway. Uh, drive home. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Okay. You open the car door, step out, okay? It's going to tell me about the house and how grand it is and how swell the yard is. <laughs> oh, my God. This is what made me stop playing Zork, okay? Just to be honest. Okay, so front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Uh, yard. Use yard. Son of a bitch. Uh, the house abandoned by no code. All right, hang on, let's set. Uh... Okay, it doesn't, like I thought for sure I'd be able to interact with other stuff in this world. I'm a little, a little disappointed. Okay, um, go to backyard. Yeah, you take the walkway around. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here w with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. back. You walk back around to the front. To no! Not what I wanted! It's not a How did I get there? What did I say? Uh, use yard, was it? Use side yard? Yard? Ah, oh, I can't remember what I said! Go around house. You step inside the front door. Son of a bitch, you got me. Got me again. You got me down. Ha ha. Click 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 click. Okay. Uh. Go to back. Back <laughs> of house. You step up. Son of a. It's picking up the word back and house. That's all it's understanding.
Me neither, game. Me neither. I don't know what I'm trying to use. I couldn't be possibly trying to use my brain. All right, I've tried being clever. Now I'm going to cheat. I'm just not going to look at the full walkthrough. I just need to figure out how to get to the backyard to turn on the generator. Um, hmm. All right, so... Uh, photos of, uh, 1986, finally. What? House abandoned. In the first play as a text adventure. Open the glove box and you'll take the note. Read the note. X card. Go to the side. Look. Go to the side and look around. Use the generator. Okay. So seriously. Okay. Look around. Ugh! Oh my god. Are you serious? Uh. Great. Use generator. You switch the generator on, and it whirs to life. That house is still dark. Go back. You walk back around the side of the front of the house. Do the good thing. Smart, smart, smart. Freaking. Thank you. Thank you. Walk through. See, I just, I needed, that's the thing that made these games so hard, is just figuring out, uh, just, like, figuring out the correct wordiology to where the computer's not just like, I don't understand what you are trying to say. Please make it more clear. In Zork, you would say things like GN, go north, go south, you know? And that would let you get lost in woods. All right, uh, use light switch. You flick the switch on and the lights come on. Ta -da! The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Go to... Kitchen. You walk into the kitchen and then lift up the carpet and find the secret uh, seal on the ground thing. Uh, the kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise, it's just a kitchen. Open door. The utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Look around. It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while, but otherwise clean and tidy. Go back. You go back into the hallway. Okay, I thought it was going to put me outside. All right, the hallway is bright lit. There's access to the kitchen living room here. Enter living room. Not sure which room you'd like to go to. Living room. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Go to living room. You step inside the living room. Jesus. <laughs> Just imagine myself standing in a house. <clears throat> How do I word this correctly to move my b b b body? A spacious and comfortable living room. We spend a lot of good time in here playing board games with family. Warm and inviting. Look around. Uh, 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 there is nothing here of interest. Really? Guess we're going upstairs. Go up sta stairs. I'm sorry. I don't know. Go back. You go back out to the hallway. Shut up! I know what I know what I want. Thank you. Use stairs. I don't know. You're trying to spell. Hey! Hey! Contemplate. Learn how to spell words smarter. You dumb. Use stairs. I don't know what you're trying to go up stairs. Hang on, I'm typoing in here. S, S T A I R S. You walk upstairs to the landing, the stairwell landing. There's a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls, images of happy times. Look around. A standard landing. There are picture frames covering the walls. Look at. Pictures. Family photos and holiday snaps. Our happy family. Reminisce. Yeah, me neither. Anyway, uh, let's see. Ma. Go to sister. Sister. Sister's room. You walk into your sister's old room. She's still in there. She slaps you in the face. Get out of my room, Mark! 
Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Nostalgiate. Oh, oh, my bad. No. Nostalgia. Bye. Okay. Uh, look around. There is also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door is slightly ajar. Oh, 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 open door. It is empty, apart from a piece of scattered photographs on the bottom. Look at photo. Graphs. It's kind of a weird word, photographs. They're all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. Okay, um, hang on, um, brownie face, I am unhappy, leave room, you step back into the hall, blah, 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 there's a bunch of doors and rooms and junk, you want to go do something else? Yes, I do, please let me, go to my room, you walk into your old room, your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. Masturbating all night long to uh, Cindy Cindy Lauper, and while listening to Prince. This is what it sounds like when crying. Sorry. Uh, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift rack. Oh, open! Oh, open! Oh, open! Open! Box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. Yeah, I do. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 128K plus two. <gasps> it's been preserved as well as in the... Okay, it's, it's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Beep. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. It's preserved so well. On your desk is the Futuro... Futuro 128K plus two computer and a copy of the house abandoned. Dude, this is freaking. This what is this? What is this called? Uh, this is Inception right now. Um, hang on. Uh, look around. It's a standard bedroom, a desk, and a wood grain TV clock. The huge. Um. Play computer. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Play the house. Abandon. Don't know what you're trying to say. Use Futuro 128K plus plus two plus one. Heh. What did you use? Use PC. Play game. Kill self. Die. Kill. Murder. Leave. We're going to the bathroom, okay? This is all making me sick. I'm going to go puke in the toilet out of rage. Just rage puking. Go to bathroom. You pee your pants. Not what I meant! Well played, game. Well played. You're in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. Look around. The bathroom is clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Look. Look. Look in. Mirror. It's your reflection. Looking good. Cool, my character's vain. Leave room. Leave. Exit. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Cool. Freaking swell. Hang on, I'm gonna learn how to activate the computer real quick. Uh. 
the sister's room, look around, open the wardrobe, look at the photos, photos of another time, go back to the landing, then go to my room, open box, set up the computer of the game, and play the game. I said that! Go to my room. Yes, thank you. I did the play game. Okay, so play game. Play the game. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? You're, you must be kidding me because you're not funny and this is totally not funny, so it must be your sense of humor. I'm so confused. Okay, just because the instructions here just say, set up the computer and play the game. Set up computer. It's all still to be set up, though. Set up game. Set up UTRO 128K plus 2. Oh my gosh! Set up PC. Set. Oh my gosh! Set up. <laughs> set up computer. Jeez. The computer's all set up and ready to go. There's a game here, too. Play that shiznit. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Sally? Oh, okay. Stop. Stop. Now you're just messing with me. Shut up, you. Stop. Okay, someone messed up the game. Well, thanks for screwing. Get out. Get out. The house abandoned. You pull up the driveway of your family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before you go in. You can't stand to be near this place. Wow, holy crap. Open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Get, get out. Just like the game told me, get out. You force the wrapped car door open. What? The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind. And all happy memories are gone from this place. There's no love here. The door appears to be locked. You'll need to use a key. Use key. You unlock the door. The click. The click of the lock hurts your ear. Hurts to hear. Uh, read note. The text seems to read, This is what you wanted. Go. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Yes, yes, yes. Go in. I'm sorry, I don't... Go, foe, uh, go in house. You reluctantly step inside. <laughs> oh, oh, it's <laughs> pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, the stale air, and damp. This could be not, this could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hand. You feel compelled to read it over and over and over. Read, note. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to, to the touch. Read, note. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Hey, hey, hey. Read, note. Hey, you said it feels like I need to read it and read it and read it. I want to read it again. Fine, screw you, game. Okay, um, go up stairs. Stairs. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Look around. Fumbling around the wet walls, you find a light switch. You 
use light switch. There's no power to the lights. The generator must be off. Outside. Go back outside. Coward. House looks abandoned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Sorry. We I I only meant to play a short amount of this, but it kind of demands that I play more. Go around the yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds curl up the side of the house. Crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note needing to look around. Look around. There's an old generator next to you. Use generator. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. You go back to the front door. Oh, this is cool, man. There's no love here. Go inside. You reluctantly step inside the front door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell of stair air and damp blah, blah, blah. The damp dungeon walls burn your snout. What do you do? I sneeze. Use light switch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect. Or worse. Ah! Uh. I was warned about the alarm clock. Upstairs, the sound of alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in the house. That can't be. Shut the. Make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. Oh man. <laughs> Somehow the alarm stops. Dang it, I need to be paying closer attention to that. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent, and the stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hand. Read note. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. Oh, that's weird. Drop note. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Of course you don't. Go into living room. You enter the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your hand. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Go back. You return to the hallway. You're still in the hallway. The noises stop, but you feel a presence. Someone's in the house. Should not be here. The kitchen. Go in. Kitchen. You go into the kitchen. I want to hear creaking footsteps, and I'm sort of disappointed I'm not. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal, and there are carcasses on the table. Oh, <laughs> what? There's writing on the wall in the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Uh, look around. There seems to be writing on the wall and what looks like blood. Open door. The door's locked and can't, I can't get in there. Not yet. Go back. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking awesome. <sighs> Oh, I knew this was going to be good. All right, here we go. Now, Phil, this doesn't go up. Stairs. You head up the stairs. They creak. Same, but different. The landing has access to your sister. Oh, God. Behind the door, the phone starts to ring and you don't understand. Neither can he. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone in the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. 
You need to hang up the phone. I do, whoever. I do, whoever. <laughs> Relief. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Lynn has access to your sister's room in the bathroom. Pictures all over the walls, but something seems different about them. Go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. Hang on. We need to, we need to do something here. This is too much. This is too good. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's see what's next. Okay. Uh, you enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is heaven for all kinds of bugs. <laughs> a broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Tap ru taps rusted in position. can't bear to look at yourself. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. You step back into the landing. <laughs> oh, dude, this is so freaking awesome. Oh, okay, here we go. Moment of truth, guys. How much of this is real? Go into my room. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. What? the time I'm sorry I don't understand what what do you mean you don't understand enter code you grab the lock the lock is rusted not used in years the key is in your hand the key in your hand weighs heavy the note heavier you grab the lock and can now input the code You need a working four-digit code. You don't... What? You know it's in this house somewhere. Okay, if it's not 9999, because that was pretty obvious. Like, why do I want to give this other me the code? Okay, that's a numeric order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You let go of the lock. Okay. go back downstairs. Okay, I didn't look around in the living room. I looked around in the kitchen, but I didn't look in the living room. So, someone's in the house, should be here. The kitchen, living room, adjacent. The stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hand. Uh, let's read it again. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. <laughs> you enter the living room. Okay. Uh, if I can't figure this out in a second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the walkthrough again just because I want to get through this and it's taking way longer than I intended for it to run down an empty abandon and for good reason okay uh, let's see what suit this says uh, stop the alarm go then go to the kitchen read the writing 1986 go back to the hallway what? Okay, so apparently I overlooked something in the kitchen. I don't remember there being like a year in the kitchen. Man, they should have seriously put it as the alarm clock because that would have been trippy. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. 
the kitchen sink. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. There seems to be writing on the wall and what looks like blood. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. oh, in blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Oh my gosh, it's on the wall now. Oh, jeepers, okay. Okay, here we go, back into the hallway. Hurry up, game. I'm about to punch that door open. 1986, that's just a few years away from my birthday. No, it's it's the year before I, I was born. Oh, dude, okay, go up. Head up the stairs to where the noises come from. The stairs creak. Same, but different. The landing has access to your sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the walls. <gasps> Look at pictures. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Knew it. Uh, go to my room. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Grab the lock. Ah, oh, it'd be so good if you just heard like. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Let me go in the room. I want to look at me. Look over there. The door's to the left, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Doors closed. Open door. Oh, it's behind me. No. Enter room. I'm not sure which room you'd like to go. Go into my room. You enter your bedroom. <laughs> oh, the bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. Oh, and the lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still, you punish me. I can be with you now. Press enter to continue. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. You're pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it! Not my fault. Oh, please. Stop. You stop. It was all my fault. Say it! No! Just say it! I will not. Just say it! I did! I said, it's all my fault. I did! I did say what? I can't! It! There, I said it. Screw you, game.
Okay, hang on. I must be doing something stupid. It was all my fault, okay. It was all my fault. Oh, stop! Finally. <laughs> What? No jump scare, nothing. Oh, that was so freaking good. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh dude, I've got to play this one again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Please leave a comment down below. I'll probably put some kind of poll up for you guys to vote on. Uh, and just let me know what you want to see on the next one. That's it for this time. Game over. It was all my fault. <laughs>